Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a really fun fashion video for y'all today. I've got a Target try-on for y'all. So popped into Target and tried on, I think like 15 different things or something like that. And there were so many cute things. So I took some pictures, I took some video. So I'm gonna run through the different things, let you know what I think about them, let you know what I picked out, what came home with me and just do a little try on. So let's get to it. I'm gonna be looking at my phone because this is where I have the pictures and the video to remind me what I tried on so I can tell you information about them. Okay, so first off, I tried on this stripey dress. So this is, I believe, Acceleration brand. I'll link everything down below for you. Um, so I tried it on in an extra small and a small, and I didn't end up getting either. Um, it's really, really cute and I debated getting the extra small. Um, it's kind of fitted up top and kind of gathers at the waist. The extra small had, um, the lines didn't quite line up with the stripes, so that's part of the reason I didn't get it, and also I was trying to narrow down my choices. Um, but I did like the way that the stripes went this way on the top, and then they went, um, what would this be, vertically? on the bottom, so I thought that was cute. The straps did seem thick enough that you could wear a regular bra with it, depending on what bra you were wearing, but they were thicker straps, so I really like that because I like to be able to wear a regular bra. Um, so yeah, the the small, the reason I like the extra small better is it just um, fit a little bit better up top. The small was a little bit big in the um, straps, and the straps weren't adjustable, so cute little dress. I think it's fun. It has kind of a 70s vibe to it. So I do really like that one, um, but I just didn't end up getting it because like I said, I was trying to narrow down. I forgot that I was going to move over to the side here to make editing easier for myself. So now I'm over here. Okay. So clearly this next item was a win because I'm wearing it. I love this dress. This is so, so cute. It has really interesting detail to it. It's just, there's so many things I love about this dress. So first off, it's kind of a tank dress. You can wear a regular bra with it, which is great. Has a cute little kind of V-neck detail and a little tassel-y detail at the neck. So that's pretty, kind of draws interest up to your face. Has a gathered waist, which is really nice and flattering. Um, the And it's kind of a little bit, um, it has a little bit of extra material as it kind of poofs out. So it sort of has this fit and flare. Well, it definitely has a fit and flare sort of a look to it. So it's just super flattering in its cut. Um, the bottom hemline is really cute because it's kind of a, it scoops down in the front and then goes up a little bit higher on the sides. So I just love everything about, about it. I love the yellow with the blue and purple. I think that's a really pretty contrasting sort of a color story there. So it's just adorable. So there was this one and then there was also another um, pattern and I was really tempted to get that one too, but I didn't. So that one is black and then has um, kind of like darker, like, well, not super dark, but kind of sagey green leaves on it. And then some kind of uh, rosy burgundy sort of floral designs. So pretty. When you look at them on the hanger, they look like they're gonna be see-through that you might have to wear something under them, but I was wearing just a nude bra and that seemed to work, so. I think it kind of depends on what undergarments you wear with it, but I think overall it's not so super necessary to wear um, a tank top or something like that under it, but love them. These are definitely some of my favorite things that I tried on. Next up is this striped dress. I do like this, um, but I didn't like it for me personally, just because of my body shape. Um, I, these kind of like ruffly details on this dress aren't always super flattering for my particular body shape because I don't have um, I'm pretty straight, so I think it looks really cute. Like if you have more of an hourglass figure, it kind of like goes with your figure, you know what I mean? Whereas I don't have a lot of hips, so it kind of makes my um, shoulders look a little bit wide. So I didn't personally get it, but I do think it's really cute and kind of that same 70s sort of a vibe to it with the pattern. Um, so it's got kind of ruffles around the sleeves. It's a V-neck, it has buttons down the front, they do unbutton, has a tied waist, um, and you can, yeah, so it is a tie that you can obviously, because it's like a separate tie that you can tie up and actually make it tighter around your waist. Love that the little, um, what's that called? Pockets are going the opposite direction with the stripes. Thought that was really cute. Love the colors in it. I loved the dark blues and light blues with the white. Um, just a really pretty looking dress. Really honestly, if the little ruffles around the sleeve weren't there, I probably really would have wanted to buy this dress. So that one's super cute. Next is this little off the shoulder top. This is really, really cute. I think it came in a couple different patterns. I picked up the lavender one to try on. 
Um, so it's got this like a light, um, fresh, sweet sort of a look to it. I love the little lace hem detail on it. I think that's a really nice added detail. So it is the off the shoulder. So I tried it on in an extra small. I'll show you that first. And then later I tried it on in a small. So the extra small, I think overall fit me better. And I like kind of where it hit on me as far as length. But I did notice that the it wasn't terrible with like the shoulders and I did feel like I had some movement with it, but that's why I tried on the small that I'll show you now. The small I seem to have just a little bit more room in the shoulders, so it didn't quite pop up as, as much. There's kind of that fine balance with off the shoulder stuff. It's like you want it to be tight enough that it's not gonna fall down, but you don't want it to be so tight that it's gonna pop up every time you move around. So that's why I was kind of leaning towards the small because it gave me a little bit more movement with it. Like I was like moving around, seeing how I could move in it. I think it's a really cute top. I think it just kind of depends on how you feel about off the shoulder tops. This dress, I probably should have saved this one for the end because this is like amazing. I love this dress. So it comes in two different colors. First off, the blue one, it is kind of a, like not a royal blue, but moving towards a navy blue, kind of a little bit deeper blue, and then white flowers. So a beautiful design to it. The pattern is beautiful. The cut of this dress is so good. So it's an off the shoulder, but I did not find it to be uncomfortable. I found that I could move around in it. I bought this dress because I loved it and I ordered the other color. We'll talk about that color in a second. So what I love about this dress, there's so many fun details to it. First off, it's got this ruching around the bust and it goes down to the waist. The only um, per, like people I think this wouldn't work for is if you have kind of a short torso because the ruching goes down fairly long, but um, the size that I needed, which is an extra small, it wasn't too long. So I think if you have the right size, it won't be super long, but it doesn't seem to be super short either. So if you have a really short torso, it might look a little bit, um, well, you might be able to get away with it if you covered it up with a belt, but that's just an FYI. So the ruching is really flattering and it goes onto the waist and up onto the bust and it's under the ruffles. So it's just very feminine looking and then it gathers at your waist and then kind of flows out a little bit and has a really cute little ruffly, um, flouncy sort of a bottom to it. So that's a really cute detail. And it's one of those dresses that because it has that high low sort of a look, you don't have to have like the ideal length on it. So I love that about it. It's just less maintenance. Like, you know, I feel like maxi, not maintenance, but maxi dresses, it's kind of sometimes hard to find the ideal one because How's it gonna work you know, for everybody's different heights? Whereas a high-low seems to work for more people because it can kind of hit in different ways, different places, and still look cute. So love this dress. So this one's the blue, and then here's the pink. So in this picture, I'm wearing a small, so I went ahead and ordered it in the extra small. I love them both. I really don't know if I can choose between the patterns. I mean, clearly I can't because I ordered the other one and I already bought the blue. So they're just both super duper cute. So this one is more of, when I first saw this online, I didn't know how the pink would be, but it's a little bit um, richer of a pink, so it's not a super light blush, because sometimes a blush pink can look really bad on my fair complexion. I was gonna say pale, but then I said fair. My fair complexion, which I like my complexion, I'm happy with it, but I'm very light complected. So a blush color can look a little bit not cute on me, whereas this one has a little bit more richness to it. It's just very feminine, and then there's different colored um, floral designs in it, little leaves. Again, it has the same cut to it. You can see in this one though, um, being a small, you can see that the ruching, kind of that gathering goes a little bit lower. So it's not quite as flattering, I don't think. I think if I wore a belt with it to kind of cover that up, that would help. But I just feel like the right size is important with this dress but it's so feminine and beautiful and just has so many interesting details. Next up is this little dress. I did kind of like this dress and I thought about getting it, but again, I was trying to narrow down. Um, it's different in that it doesn't have a lot of shape to it, but it kind of has that easy breezy sort of a vibe to it. So I liked it for that reason. Um, so it's a, I don't remember if this came in other patterns, but it's a light blue and then has a really pretty kind of corally floral pattern. So again, it's got that contrast in the colors. It is a spaghetti strap, 
So, you know, you would have to wear a certain kind of bra with it or just not care and show your bra straps. You know what I mean? So it does have those spaghetti straps on it. That, so that's just an FYI. And then it has little like ruffly tears to it. They don't like flounce out, but they kind of have just some stitching there to sort of give some interest down to the dress. So I like that about it. And it is kind of a midi length. So um, I think it's gonna, you know, work for more people. I would probably wear it with wedges just to give, I'm like 5'6 or just under 5'6, so I would probably wear it with wedges just to kind of, it's almost like it hits me at that weird ankle length, but it's just barely a midi, so that's why I would probably pair it with um, some wedges to give it a little bit of hype. Let me check something. I went back to watch my video to see if I had recorded if it has um, adjustable straps or not, and I didn't record that, and I can't see it in the picture, so I don't fully remember, but I think that it had adjustable straps, which I really like because then you can adjust kind of like you know, how low it hits you. So I really do like this dress. I think it's really cute, but it just has a little bit more of that um, loose and uh, breezy and easy sort of a cut to it. There were a lot of jumpsuits there at Target and I tried on several of them and I didn't like, well, actually I liked one of them that I can think of. That one was super cute, but most of them I didn't like. So let's talk about this one. So this is um, a black floral and then it's got, or a black background and then a floral design. So, I mean, it's got some gathering at the waist. I was wearing a small, so I really probably needed the next size. I, I think I needed an extra small and I think that would have helped give a little bit more definition, but um, it did have thicker straps, so I liked that about it. I think it's gonna depend on if you like jumpsuits or not because it's a particular style and I feel like some people can really pull it off and look just super cute in it, but I just feel a little bit goofy. Like, this just looks goofy. Wait till you get to one of the other ones. It's real goofy. This one's mildly goofy. <laughs> I like the straps on it. I like the floral pattern. I do think an extra small would have fit me better. The length on it is kind of like a midi sort of a length, so it's kind of a cropped um, pant on it. The fabric was nice. I liked the fabric. There were quite a few in there that had a thicker sort of a fabric, which was interesting, um, but I don't know why, I guess that's a thing, that they're doing a certain particular kind of thicker fabric. I think that this one was a little bit thinner and more of kind of a rayon sort of a fabric. So I liked the fabric on it. Uh, so I think it just depends on if you like, like these sort of looks or not. This is the jumpsuit that I did really like and I debated getting this one. This is super duper cute. So it's off the shoulder, it is gathered at the waist. It does have a little tie at the waist, but it's not necessarily functional, it, I mean it ties but it doesn't actually like ruche and tighten the dress at all. So it's kind of like a faux little tie there at the waist, but it's got little um, details at the sleeve. So it's got a little tie detail, cute off the shoulder, has pockets. The length was really good on me. Like I could wear this with flats and maybe like a tiny little heel. Like I said, I'm just under five, six. So I liked the length on it. It was very soft and comfortable, so I loved the fabric. I loved the pattern on it. The off the shoulder was comfortable. I really liked everything about it. Honestly, it was like one of, it was in the running of things I really wanted to get. So this is super duper cute. Can't remember if this came in other patterns, but if it does, I'll list it for you down below. Next up is this jumpsuit. I do feel like this is one of those that people are gonna really love it or not love it. I think it's one of those things that if I saw somebody else wearing this, I would think it was super cute, but it's not necessarily my style and it's not something that I think I would reach for a lot. So it's a striped sort of a pattern to it. The top almost ends up being kind of a chevron because it's an angled striped pattern and then the bottom goes vertically and then there is a little divider at the waistline. So I do like that they did that because I think it kind of breaks up the body and gives a little bit more shape to it. So I think that the stripes are strategically done well. It has little um, kind of spaghetti straps. They're slightly thicker spaghetti straps, but you would still have to wear you know a special bra with it. They are adjustable. There are no pockets in this jumpsuit. So I think it's kind of de gonna depend. I think some people will really love this and rock it and look super cute in it, but I didn't end up getting it. This one, y'all, this is goofy. This is not cute, <laughs> at least not on me. I put this on and I was like, what is happening? This is not cute at all. I mean, I don't even know how to describe that. <laughs> it's so bad. So it's pretty much a straight jumpsuit. That's really the problem with it is it doesn't have any waist definition. So, I mean, it's like, I don't even know, like a onesie for a baby. I mean, a onesie on a baby looks super cute, but 
a long panted onesie on me does not look cute. So it does have slightly thicker straps to it. So I guess you could wear a regular bra with it. I do like the neckline to it, but, and I like the pattern, but that's about it. The cut of it is just not very flattering. I do like the cropped length. It just needs waist definition. I mean, I guess maybe with a, um, some kind of a belt it might work, but it was just a no. This dress right here is really cute. I didn't take a video wearing this one because it's kind of see-through and you could sort of, well, you could see my underwear, so didn't want to show my underwear. You can see my bra straps as I'm trying it on, but that's not as big of a deal. So it is kind of see-through. It's a it's a gauzy um, sort of a fabric to it, so really nice and soft. It has a little tie detail up on the straps to it, so little spaghetti straps. I like the ruching around the top. I think that's really pretty. Um, the stripes do go vertically both on the top and the bottom, but it is divided in the middle with some kind of ruching and gathering at the waist. So flattering cut to it. Um, I think it's supposed to be a maxi, but it kind of fits me at that weird ankle length. So not the ideal length for me. Also not the ideal color for me, just because it's that kind of light creamy color. But if you've got like a tan complexion or a deep complexion, I think this would be so, so pretty on you. Um, but I would just definitely wear it with some kind of a slip because it was see-through. This little dress is really pretty and I think could really be played up in different ways with the accessories that you wear with it. So it was a line sort of a dress. So it's got the top layer that's kind of a more of a, a chiffon -y sort of a material to it. And then it had um, a more silky lining to it. Really cute ruffly detail up at the top. The straps are adjustable. They are spaghetti straps. Um, no pockets that I can remember on this one. The only problem with this dress, I love the cut of it. I love the ruching at the waist. I think with a belt, it would be really cute, like a thick brown belt. But as I was trying it on and in the video, you'll see it has like static issues. Like as I was trying to show you the under layer, it got all staticky and weird. So I'm sure that could be fixed with some static guard spray but I didn't necessarily want to deal with all that, but I do love the little ruffly detail on it. And it kind of has a, it's, it's sort of a, a vintage sort of a floral um, pattern to it. It has kind of a 70s sort of a vibe to me. And then last up, this came home with me. In the picture, it looks a little bit goofy on the sleeves. I don't even know if you can tell, but I was wearing a shirt that had um, kind of three quarter inch sleeves and sort of bell sleeves. So I was kind of having to tuck my shirt under it, but I didn't have another shirt in there with me to try on. So I just went ahead and wore it with that. So if it looks a little puffy at the sleeves, that's not the kimono. It's my shirt underneath. This kimono is so cute. I love everything about it. It's kind of a duster length. So it's a longer kimono. I love the sleeve length on it, that it's a little bit, it's not three quarter inch sleeves, but it's almost to the elbow. So it's slightly longer sleeves on it. Um, just a really pretty color story with the black background and the yellow and the orange and the cream flowers on it. But then it has a tie. So you can either tie it around the front or you can tie it at the back or even just as it is hanging, it gives kind of a shape to the body. So really, really flattering. So it's not just that straight kimono, it's got that sort of a shape to it. So I thought that was just a beautiful detail to it. Love where it hits. I mean, you could wear this in a ton of different ways. You could wear it over like leggings and a shirt, jeans and a shirt, over a dress. Um, you could wear it over like a slip and, well, I guess you couldn't wear it a slip because you can't really button it up. So I would just wear it over a dress, but you can almost wear it as a dress, but it's kind of the finishing piece. So it's just one of those finishing pieces that is really, really pretty in its pattern, really done well with its cut, really soft material to it. So this definitely came home with me. I love it. Okay guys, those are all the goodies that I have to show you today. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please do a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you want me to do more of these try on type videos and I will try to do more of them for you. Let me know down below if you've been grabbing anything from Target lately. Um, let me know what you think about these items that I showed. What are some of your favorites? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.